hi you guys I am doing a voiceover right here I'm showing you my ipsy bag for December of course I'm holding the camera or the phone camera with one hand but they gave me some really really good um, products from benefit I'm excited to try that I've never tried that look at the little brush I'm sorry for the shaky camera you guys but look at that I'm going to give that a try. I'm excited to try that because I have to work on my eyebrows every day. And then I'm excited about this moisturizer, Focus Focus. It's a hydrating treatment, which, you know, I have that mature, dry skin. And this um, makeup brush, it's so pretty, you guys. Look at that. It's sleek and gold. Don't mind the background. Mom was polishing furniture. That's but look how soft that is. So pretty. I'm sorry I have to do a voiceover, you guys. It's just my days are so short, as you well know. And then that glitter bag back there. I should have showed that to you better. But yeah, this is us. I don't know why mom. Yeah, I ch I changed the table because mom keeps putting that one back and it's really springy. <laughs> And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Hey, you guys, happy Vlogmas Day. 13. You know, do you realize it's like 12 days till Christmas? Is it 12? Oops. Is it 12 days till Christmas? I don't know. Gotta do the count. Anyway, it's my morning. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, but it's morning for me. I've been awake since about... I'm rubbing my eyes. They're itching. Um, I've been awake for a little while. I finished editing my vlog must day 12 and my Dollar Tree haul video um, and yesterday's vlogmas was really short I don't know this today is might be the same um, because yesterday I tried to vlog just you know at home instead of in the dark car when I'm on my way to work like I always do but I have, I'm going to share my Ipsy bag. It's the December bag. And it's so special. I did take a look in there already. I've been talking about sharing. Sorry. I've been talking about sharing these bags with you guys. But I keep forgetting. But not today. So I'm just wanting to pop in really quick and say good morning. And um, I'm going to go make my bulletproof coffee. And then share with you what I have here. And share with you the conversation I had at work last night with a new co-worker about keto diet. Well, he was telling me about, because I was telling him that I've kind of plateaued. I've lost, let me put this down, lost, um, give or take, about 50 to 55 pounds. And the reason why I say that is because I'm like what he called ballooning or going up and down. And this guy's like, you know, he's all into health. And um, it's a young guy, ex-model and bodybuilder. Buff, big bodybuilder. So we were all talking about him and stuff and then diets. And, um, and anyway, I was telling him about my plateau situation. And he strongly suggested I do something that bodybuilders do and I was like oh okay and he gave me a printout in fact let me pull it out right now I made a copy of his own printout that he had for himself um got my new schedule for the new it's called um carb cycling I don't know have you guys heard of that 
See, I'm not really, obviously, not into the big health thing. That's why I was so heavy, still heavy. Um, but anyway, um, and, and then I went into my keto research video people that I usually go to. A couple of them are actual doctors. And um, they don't suggest this for people like me. I'm thinking I'm one of those people that what they categorize as insulin... Um, what do they call it? Insulin resistant. I'm not a diabetic, but usually fat people and I, I'm fat and I've been, I'm, I was fatter. <laughs> um, but usually fat people have that without realizing it. And insulin resistance means, oh, I don't have all, I'm, I'm still foggy in the brain right now. You guys, I do need my keto, my keto coffee, my bulletproof coffee right now uh, but anyway what I was saying is he gave me this it's about five pages I was reading it and I was like oh that sounds interesting the the science behind their reasoning they've been doing it for years so it works for bodybuilders people that are pretty active and do hard workouts I haven't worked out I need to start working out and he was like strongly suggesting that I do a Monday Wednesday Friday workout hard workout go and just bust my butt at the gym or however I do it whether it's at home um, he's and he did say usually when you start plateauing or ballooning like that is because your body he goes our bodies um, are always getting used to or finding and I don't know they're just adjusting itself constantly so my body has adjusted itself to my new way of eating the keto way and therefore at the loss that I have had which he also described 20 pounds of that loss was I don't know like I said he got really into it um and and you know there was like about four of us co-workers all talking about this and they were a couple of them were guys and those two knew what that guy was talking about so uh, oh I was like that stuff was just going over my head but I was seriously considering it and then I thought I don't want to get sick I don't want to shock my body he was also talking about getting sick keto sick getting sick like that and I'm like why so far I haven't gotten sick I haven't got the keto flu what they talk about I haven't gotten any kind of um, stomach sick I don't get the shakes I don't feel weak I actually feel healthy I'm not clear-minded like I'm supposed to be according to the way I'm eating and I and I'm saying I'm not because of my sleep pattern you know it's wonky but anyway you guys I'm jabbering on as I do this is something I do naturally so let's go get some coffee and then I want to share my ipsy bag with you because I got some really good stuff ipsy's been really stepping it up you guys I don't know why I don't like to do I, I really don't you know what I do know what I enjoy making videos for the most part and I used to do Ipsy videos all the time. I think I have some in my playlist someplace in there. If I find it, I'll, or remember, I'll link it up, up there. But I only get like about 20 views. So I think, well, why don't I just share it in my vlog? Because it's, I mean, if I got at least 100 views on those videos, I probably would continue making them. But everybody, excuse me. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that, but that's my reasoning. Let's go get some coffee. Oh, I wasn't even filming. I was talking all that time. Anyway, you guys, I don't know what I filmed. I just realized I was yapping away and it was not recording. <laughs> I'm on my way to work, running late. I got 20 minutes to get clear across town and 
I was just saying I didn't film uh, after I was chatting you guys up this morning because I had company and it was fun and I love it I love having company I was saying I think everybody's kind of sort of feeling Christmas getting closer 12 days till Christmas you guys 12 days I'm still in my neighborhood I'm still in my neighborhood I'm just <laughs> throwing that out there but yeah 12 days till Christmas holy moly well when you watch this it's gonna be 11 days 11 days till Christmas <sighs> anyway I am in route and I just want to say close bring an end or close to vlogmas a day of 13 and say good night Well, y'all are going to go rest. I'm starting my day. I have my big old cup of coffee right here. And I probably will have another coffee at about 11 or 11.30 tonight. And I need to get... I'm about to get on the road, you guys.